It's unanimous. The U.S. Supreme Court today reversed the Colorado Supreme Court decision that disqualified former President Trump from the primary ballot. A 9-0 decision. Norma Anderson, Thank who went to Washington, D.C., and seen here after the Supreme Court hearing last month, was one of six Colorado voters that joined a liberal group out of Washington to sue and keep Trump from running for office again, citing the 14th Amendment. They got walloped today, and yet her legal team still sees a victory even when she does not. Do you come away saying at least we got X? No, I don't come away saying we got X. Norma Anderson is a realist, even despite the 9-0 decision by the U.S. Supreme Court against her and her colleagues that tried to get former President Trump disqualified from running for office again. I'm not surprised that we lost, but I am extremely disappointed in their reasoning. The justices ruled that Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, the part that says you can be disqualified from office for engaging in insurrection, they ruled that cannot be used by states to disqualify someone from federal office. The intent of the majority opinion here is to say that this was never for the states to decide, and so it really took the teeth out of everything that Colorado has done. We went to constitutional law attorney Jessica Smith to look at the second half of the Supreme Court decision that said for the insurrection clause of the 14th Amendment to be utilized, Congress needs to pass a bill allowing for that to happen. It went so far as to not just say that Colorado couldn't do what it did, but that nobody can do something similar until Congress does something. And that's very broad. Pardon me, Congress doesn't do anything anymore. Former President Trump took a victory lap for the decision that protects his candidacy in 2024. I want to start by thanking the Supreme Court for its unanimous decision today. It was a very important decision. We're very well crafted. Trump, rightfully so, cheered the 9-0 decision in his favor. Somehow, Anderson's attorneys also saw a bright side. Winning this particular out outcome was not the only goal of our suit. The other goal of our suit was to make sure that everyone knows that this portion of the Constitution exists, has power and force. But what good is knowing about the insurrection clause if it now has an additional hurdle that requires Congress to act before it can be used? It reminded me of when the Denver Broncos got blown out by the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl 24, 55 to 10, and then perhaps bragging about scoring 10 points. I strongly disagree with the characterization. This was nothing close to a 55-10 defeat. This was a, a game decided by the refs. It's a blowout. Like I said, Norma Anderson is a realist who, in this case, can admit defeat. I will continue to defend democracy in the few years I have left.